Hello and welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss about UX developer and we are going to see how you can become a UX developer. The main thing is people generally ask, I have heard about UX designer and I know that people who do programming are developer, but is there someone who can do the both? And uh, I will say yes. These people are very rare in the market space, but yes, some people exist who can take the requirements and build the design on user experience point of view, and then also can do the programming and the actual development and deliver the solution. So this is the entire cycle, and there are some people who can do it, the full cycle. So to do that, you have to be a UX designer, which we already saw what are the tools and how you can become a UX designer and the factors you can consider while taking requirements and uh, making your design more user experience centric. So it takes a lot of practice to really become a good UX designer. But then with time and experience, you will gain how really experience comes in the normal design principles. And to become a developer, you have to learn this technology, which I'm going to discuss now. This is uh, in order of easy to hard. This is something what I experienced when I started this journey. The programming languages are mainly JavaScript and SAP MAP. If you have to do a UFF development, but you also have to learn JSON XML, HTML, and CSS. So you can see this is something to consider because uh, when you are trying to get into the field, you will start always with the easier technology to learn because if you pick up a very difficult technology at first, then it can be demotivating and uh, demoralizing. So I will suggest uh, or recommend you to start with the JSON first and then uh, you learn some HTML and CSS and then if you already have a SAP background then it's wonderful else you can start picking up some ABAP codes and then you can learn them and then you can go for JavaScript. JavaScript is a scripting language and it's not very difficult but uh, object oriented JavaScript requires you to be a bit expert in JavaScript so you can take some time and then you can go for jQuery. And uh, once you've done that, then you can, it would be really easy for you to understand UI5 framework yeah, because we are focusing the sessions, entire session on UI5. So the goal of this language learning stack is to make you a good UI5 developer and using UI5 skill set, you can design and deliver solution, which is user experience centric. So if I talk about how much is required in actual applications, how much of this technology is required, then I will say some of the technologies like uh, JavaScript and uh, SAP and the CSS are predominantly used in a UI5 development. And also if you are making your views through XML, then we, we will also use XML predominantly. But the JSON and the HTML are very rarely used. Uh, only your first page and uh, is, is mainly or your data are of JSON. So this technology are not that much frequently used and then you can have a basic understanding of how they works. But mainly our focus should be to learn JavaScript very well, understand the CSS and also ABAP and uh, Gateway which will help you while doing the development. And uh, moving on, what is the tools which you will select? Uh, I, I will recommend that uh, uh, you can use either Eclipse or uh, WebStorm as an ID. But uh, if you really wanted uh, things to be very quick and fast, I always go for Sublime. So let me show you uh, real quick. Sublime is uh, built in Python and it's my go-to text editor it's very powerful and uh, very lightweight and uh, Eclipse is something which you have to have because uh, you have to connect to SAP and then push your code 
and then get your course and all these activities are possible only through Eclipse. And um, I will suggest you to download Kepler version of the Eclipse because uh, it is compatible to all the HANA development as well. So if you are going for uh, HANA development later on, then it's uh, Kepler or Luna. So if you see here, they only support uh, Luna or Kepler and uh, Kepler is um, have pretty much all the features. So I will suggest you to go with the Kepler version of the Eclipse. There's also a very popular ID called WebStrom. It's not a free ID, but uh, still people uses it. You used to have uh, used it in the project because uh, it gives you code completion. I have tried it once and it's okay, but then uh, it really depends upon uh, what your inclination is. I personally use Eclipse for uh, pushing the code and um, then cleaning the code. But to do actual development, I prefer Sublime. So that is uh, my preference and uh, you can check it out yourself and then see what you like and then uh, you can decide upon that. So that's my choice, okay. To summarize this session, we saw how you can become a UX developer with having user experience, designing skill set, and learning UI5 development. So you can deliver application which are user experience centric using UI5 development framework. We also saw the technology stacks involved and how much you should know each technology to really do the actual delivery. We also saw the tools involved in the development and uh, we saw how to select which tools are best for you. So we will see you in this next session in which we are going to talk about how to make money using UF5. So thank you for watching this video.